Hey everybody, so uh, they finally admitted to it, or they just finally said it out loud. I've often said on my channels, regardless of the platform, watch the financial analysts because it's usually in their best interest to be accurate. Now, they don't always get it right, don't get me wrong, sometimes they just screw it up. But usually, they're trying to get as accurate as possible because people are making forecasts based on what they say. And if they consistently suck, they're going to lose their jobs. They're going to get fired. So they have both professional and financial reasons to get it right. And recently, the analysts at Bloomberg made the assessment, and you can go check it out yourself. I won't post the link today. You guys do your homework. That their prediction, based on their algorithms, their models, the inputs they currently have as of today, which would be the 19th of October, uh, 22, that we have a 100% chance of being in a recession in the next year. I have personally said that we already checked the boxes for a recession. We're already in, I guess what you could call a micro recession, right? You've had three or four consecutive periods of loss of GDP. You have inflation that's in the double digits. This is just the U.S. now. And you've got a lot of other issues going on that would all indicate a recession. But this is the first time a public and well-known financial company has said it out loud and said, no, we're predicting a recession 100%. Now, the way it's scaled is within the next three to four months. It was 40% within four to six months. It was 70%. And then from seven to 12 months, it was 100%. That's based on things being done right now by the government, by companies, by people. The inputs that they're using give 100%. Um, a lot of people are freaking out about it. I'm not. I'm glad they said it. Now, I'm not glad that there's inflation, recession, and all that shit. But I am glad that they said it out loud. Because now we know what the hell's going on. Now they're validating what we've already talked about. And now we can plan accordingly, right? I mean, think about it. The devil you know is better than the devil you don't know. And this is a devil we know. We've had inflation in the world before. So I'd tell everyone, do your own homework. Look at what they did during the Great Depression. Look what they did during the 70s. Look what they did during the 50s. All those little recessions and economic downturns are lessons for us. So don't panic. Now's the time to do your homework and make the right choices knowing we're headed into a recession, a formal one. I'll see you guys later. Happy hunting.